Welcome back gamers, this is Core Keeper. Um, I am Crispy and as you can see I've been busy in between episodes. I went ahead and dug out this whole area. Um, here's the center point of it. And I, it was just because I feel like this area is getting a little too crowded um, and I just wanted to start moving some of our workspace down into there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Make sure we get everything here. I'm having a good time making these. Um, like I said um, at the start of this, Core Keeper is a great game, a phenomenal game. Um, I love playing it. So I hope you guys like watching it and enjoy enjoy being here with Stewie and I. So I don't actually know what I'm going to use this area for at the moment, but. For now, it is just going to be our base of operations. I have no real intention of how I want to set it up, when I want it to look like. Um, we'll kind of get there when we get there, though. So I'll go ahead and set this place up and maybe kind of do a little time lapse here of me collecting all my resources, moving them over one by one. And we'll be back in just a bit here. Enjoy. Alright, we are back. I did get move, everything moved. It took a lot less time than I thought it would. Um, but we are starting to run into an issue, um, and that issue is our food. Now, I do know we have quite a lot of meat up here um, that we can start cooking up, but that is not going to, to last us here. I'll go ahead and get this stuff on the pot um, started up here. But as I said, it's not going to last. Um, we go hungry way too quickly and you can see it diminishes our maximum health the hungrier we get so we are going to want to deal with that so what we're first going to do is build a farm i do know i said we were going to take on the hive mind and we are but i do want to kind of get this food situation taken care of first and foremost so we'll come over here we'll grab some of our copper tin iron and gold here Maybe also some of this stuff just in case. And we are going to make ourselves an iron hoe. Just place that there. Uh, probably an iron bucket. And an iron watering can. Get some of this stuff back in its spots over here. And we're going to dedicate this area over here towards farming, kind of by our cooking pot here. Um, as you can see, we did get an egg last time, and I did put it in the incubator again. Um, unfortunately, I did have to destroy it, and I didn't want to wait for it. It's just going to give us another bird here. So we will go ahead and grab all of these seeds here. Except for the root seeds. We do not need that. And we'll go ahead and get started. So as you can see, it gives you that nice kind of grid that shows you the area you are going to hoe. 
and it gets bigger with each with each tier of hoe that you build and you can hoe it and unhoe it um, it works really nice I'll go ahead and put some fences down here just to make the area look nice and pretty we'll bust a hole in our fence here grab some of this extra gooey meat steak and as you can see we already went through half half of what we had so we're gonna go ahead Make these corner pieces up here. And get started with that farm. So let's just move everything up. And start planting here. What seeds are these? Grub seeds? Sure. Bomb peppers. Oh, those were not bomb peppers. I think those were our glow glow fruit. And these are gonna be our Karok seeds. And as you can see, we can't place them here. They do have to be on the stone. So we'll go ahead and put those back in the chest as we're not gonna use those at the moment. But you need to go find some water, so we're going to go run off and do that here. We do know there's that huge river off to the left here. We'll go ahead and grab some water, and then we can put it by our farm to have kind of a never-ending water supply over there. Um, when you take a shovel and you just break the normal ground, what you're going to get is a chasm. Now we want to fill that chasm with water, and that water will allow us to fill our watering can like we just did from that river there. So we're gonna go ahead and go and do that. I do think I accidentally demolished my shovel here. So we are gonna need to make a new one. Um, let's grab our iron, probably cost some gold too. Make a shovel. Put these items back. And we'll go ahead and place our water source right here. As you can see. Now we have a water source and that'll allow us to pull from there. And now we can use our nice 4x4 watering can to water all of our crops here. As you can see it holds a lot of water so there's not a ton of worry of running out. Put some on the walls. And there we go. We now have a farm started, an infinite source of food, um, hopefully. Go ahead and maybe put these in here. It's going to take me a while to figure out how I sorted this thing. Because I have already lost where I have my slime. There it is. Go ahead and put that there, that in down here. Alright, and we are all set. And now, as I said, we were going to go find the hive mother down here. So we're going to go ahead, dig to probably run out to here, and we'll dig straight down from there. I'm going to repair my tools, and then I will meet you guys once we get to that junction. Okay, and now before we do go, um, with all that digging and stuff that I did off camera, we do have a bunch of skill points that I did forget to spec into. So we'll go ahead and spec into some rapid shot here for range. Go ahead, more some base builder with our crafting. Um, Got to go fast a little more here. Some more vitality, which is going to allow us to spec into these next time. And then some more mining. Um, I think we're going to keep going with the extra um, ore from walls. And then our pet did level up as well, and we got another point. So we've got asserting, asserting dominance. Predator's Mark or Laser Point Play. So we have Longer Stun and Critical already. And so I think we're going to do 15% damage against bosses here. As we are going to go fight a boss right now. 
I think that is the best idea that we can kind of spec into there. All right, I will meet you guys over there. All right, guys, we are now in the clay caverns here. Go ahead and kill these grubs here. And we got some more points while we were on our way, so we'll go spec into melee and some more. Gotta go fast here. Now, I think our best course of action is literally just gonna be to dig straight down. We got a full pick, so let's just get going here. I am not gonna worry about lighting it up too much, um, just because we aren't gonna be using this tunnel very often. Um, this is just to get us down to here. Oh, and we are at that larva hive block um, that does take a very, very long time to dig through. As you can see, my character is saying that as well. This is going to take a while. And so we are just going to take a while. Because this is the layer of hive mother it is going to be pretty hard to dig through at this state in the game um but we just we want to plow through it and i did forget to bring my shovel so i'm going to go back to the base grab a couple things um that'll help us get through here and then i will be back once we get back here guys all right we are back um i do recommend bringing a shovel for this this is like I think it's called acid. Yeah, ground acid slime. This is going to injure you as you walk on it. Um, so I do recommend bringing a shovel for that. There are also these guys here. Um, these little spike traps. That will pop up and kill you. And because we are fighting the hive mother, there's going to be larvae everywhere. And you saw that yellow guy that just ran at me. They are like kamikaze guys they will run at you and try to explode and kill you so you do want to stay out of their way um, as they can do quite a lot of damage and we are a lot more powerful than we were the first time we came here so this should not be an issue exploring this area Keep on going. Oh gosh. Another thing you can do to take care of those walls is place some bombs. As they will deal kind of area damage to the walls and break them in a single hit. Rather than you having to sit there and destroy those walls over and over again. And he is coming for us here. Go ahead and take care of him with our blunderbuss, our musket here. Alright, we'll see what we got going on the other side of this wall. Unfortunately, we don't have too many bombs, um, so there's not much we can blow up here. But we'll do with what we can. see another spike trap on the floor here that we'll go ahead and just take care of these things are everywhere so you do want to be careful as they do tend to do a very high amount of damage those kamikaze guys let them take care of them gotcha I'm gonna shoot him here get his attention and run there we go. They will chase you until they're, uh, they explode. They get close enough to feel like they can do some damage to you. So you do want to run and avoid them and maybe have a ranged weapon on you. At this point in the game, I do recommend having a ranged weapon on you at all times. It just does help with a lot of the enemies that we will be facing moving forward. All right, perfect. We are through that part. As you can see, we're still a long distance away, so we are gonna keep mining here. Grab some tin as we go. 
Now hopefully we don't run into any more hive before we actually get to the boss area. Um, just because it takes a very long time to destroy. As you can see, that's a little egg there that just burst open. And let's go of all those guys there. So we'll go ahead and take care of that. Blow him up here with the help of our dog. grab the tin if we see any we're not gonna go out of our way to get it but if it's there we'll grab it and we have found more hive wall place a bomb try to take care of this very quickly we still have a very long way to get there as you can see it does some nice damage um, but this is our last one and so we are gonna be mining for quite a while to try to get to this hive mother Hopefully it opens up into a cave here, and we'll be able to work our way through it. Otherwise, uh, we are going to be here for a very long time. As you can see, Stewie's not too thrilled about the idea of it. We are out of bridges, so we'll go ahead and make another workbench here. To make some more. We are also going to make some more torches to help us light our way here. Alright, switch those up. And continue to follow this river of acid here okay and so we do have that new enemy these little orange grubby guys they're not gonna be much different they are gonna have a lot more health though um, from what I remember oh 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 and we found the orange big guys similar to the white big guys the orange guys are going to destroy your torches and make it kind of a, a little horror game trying to fight them off in the darkness here. And there is a whole army after us. As you can see, they just keep coming. We're going to continue on our way here. Break these open. And, oh, find ourselves a hand drill. That is very nice. We'll go ahead and see. This has 85 mining damage, so not as much. But it is very quick. Um, it doesn't look like you got a very powerful one, but they are very nice when you do find powerful ones. All right. Continue on our way to find the hive mother here. This musket is so great in this area. I would recommend everyone trying to find it before you come here. And I think I did forget to bring us food. So that's going to be an issue coming up in the next 20 minutes or so. Take care of this guy here. those guys I think we are on our way here oh, don't take care of my torch and as you can see the hive mother is just off to our right here so now that we know this area is safe we're gonna work our way into here 
and get our first glimpse of the hive mother. Now, this is quite a fun boss fight. Um, it could get a little crazy and hectic though, so we'll see how this first time goes. I know I said that the last boss we weren't going to kill in the first try, and we did. Um, but the hive mother, I have an even bigger feeling that we are not going to kill her in the first try here. Especially because we didn't bring any food. So we got no health regen, our armor's almost broken, and it's been a long time since I fought her. So as you can see, she's down there in the bottom right. Um, she is not active, um, just like Glurch, the, uh, um, the worm thing that we fought. He does not actually attack you until you attack him. Um, the hive mother is kind of the same way here. So let's just get into the arena first. Alright, here we go. So this is the Hive Mother. Pretty good arena, and we're gonna go ahead and just attack. As you can see, she launches like acid bombs down from the sky that lay those Hive Eggs. And those Hive Eggs are pretty bad, as you can see because it spawns three of those guys here. And there's no limit to how many she can spawn. It's just never ending. So you either want really great crowd control or really high DPS, and we have neither. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep circling her here. Hoping that we can just do enough damage here. As you can see, we are out of room to walk now. We are going to have to go over that acid. Guide them around the corner there. Sorry, I'm being a little quiet here, trying to focus. Our pet is doing a lot of work and damage here. The acid is getting a little out of control, though. Uh-oh. Okay. We need to take care of some of these guys. are dead oh boy it's gonna be fun trying to get that gravestone back and as you can see our armor is broken as well here but our garden has grown which is great that's gonna give us some food we're gonna go ahead and farm some of this stuff back up here As you can see, we got 17 peppers and only nine seeds left. I don't know if you get more seeds if you farm it with a hoe. We're gonna test that out here. It is not looking like it. Just cook some of this stuff up here. All right, and we are back. We're gonna clean out some of this acidic goop here. And really leave the hive mother alone. I did find a bigger lantern out there in one of those chests. And I think we could have had that first go around with the Hive Mother had we cleared out a bigger arena for it. 
We had her pretty low there for a little bit. My jerk just stole my torch. The problem is she just spawns so many adds and enemies, it's hard to keep up with being able to keep the area clean. Now I know there are some ways around that, you know, we could play spike traps and stuff like that. I just feel like it takes away from the fun of, you know, trying to kill all the adds and have to worry about the acid and stuff on the ground like that while fighting the boss. Otherwise it makes the boss just a little too easy. Oops. I guess we're fighting the hive mother again here. And we are dead again. I knew that would happen. That one wasn't accidental. We did not mean to fight her there. I'll see you back at our grave. All right, now that I've cleared out a little more of an area, we are gonna try the hive mother one more time here without some armor. Um, just see how well it goes. I know I'm probably gonna die. It's a waste of time, but who knows? We might kill her. Probably not, but we'll see here. I did lay some spike traps down just to try to drag the enemies through to do a little bit of damage to them. Um, hopefully that does something. Otherwise, let's charge up this bow and get going here. I think our blunderbuss might do more damage, definitely. I do just get a little scared of that knockback. Okay, he's shot. Drag him through. doing the majority of the damage here. We're gonna have a good time. Get it, buddy. And those spike traps are working nice. Okay, we did do some nice damage. Now the ads are getting a little out of hand. All right, here we go. Dodge and weave here. Continue to get some shots off on her. One more shot. Oh, and our pet finishes her off. There we go, guys. That is the hive mother slain. Open this chest and look at all those goodies that we get here. Of course, we get her gem. Got some gold, some of that, a hive bone helm, some more silk. We're just throwing stuff on the ground here, I guess. Start to trash some of this stuff that we don't need. All right, that is the Hive Mother defeated. New item, Hive Mother chest. And let's see here. back into that a little more in our mining and that was the hive mother pretty much armorless all we have are some booties and these two rock rings um, our pet did a lot of good stuff there so we'll give him some pets and be on our merry way all right 
Now the challenges. Let's see if we can get out of here without dying. All right, guys, we are back. We do have the heart of the hive mother in our hand. We'll go ahead and put it in and see what we get here. As you can see, our core lit up there a little bit and is now blinking. Before we get to that, though, we have a larva spike club, a grubzooka, and an ancient hologram pod. A strong, de strange device that materializes spirits of the past. All right, let's check out what's going on with this core here. Thou has to awaken us. Never have we seen a creature such as thee. There once was a thriving civilization here, but it seems all of it has been lost. We must have been dormant for eons. We wonder. We must ask something of thee. Seek the ancient titans still roaming beyond the Great Wall. Destroy them and collect their souls. With their energy, we can restore what once was. In return, thou shall be able to go back to whence thou camest. By the power with which we now imbue thee, the great wall shall be opened as thou layest a hand upon it. There we go, we get the core's power here. Thou must travel far out to the great wall and lay a hand upon it to open it. The titans can be found beyond the great wall. I think he's going to just start repeating himself here. Yeah, so we'll go ahead, leave him alone for the time being. And see what we can do here. Let's add this chest to our collection over here. What do we want to store in here? I think this is going to be our tools chest here. So we got a hive bone helm, plus 20 max health, 12 armor, 3% melee and range attack speed and 12 thorns damage. Um, if we have the set, we're immune to acid damage. And then we also got the larva helm, 20 max health, 10 armor, 26 mining damage, no less movement speed. And then a double set, we are disguised as a larva. Cool. And then I don't think we got anything else too fancy from there. It doesn't look like. All right, guys. So we are back. I got some food in hand and I just cooked up a bunch more here. That'll last us for a little bit here. Um, we are gonna go ahead and as we watch all that grow, we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the wall. Um, either side is the same distance. So we'll go ahead and make our way to, I guess we'll just go right here um, and see what is on the other side of that wall. It said lay your hand on it. So we'll go bare hand. Oops. Oh, press E. There we go. And that wall is now crumbling to a giant chasm. Let's build our way across here and see what we can find. are almost out of wood as well so we do need to go restock on that at some point point. and what do we have here looks like we're in a desert here and we can't mine this stuff yet interesting let's explore the desert a little bit here see if there's anything interesting along this outer wall so we destroyed one wall only to be greeted by yet another wall. And it is the Desert of Beginnings. Interested to see what lays in store for us here. Oh, what is that? It's fast. It is very fast. 
and it is tanking our hits to it. Oh, and it just exploded. All right, I do not think I want to be here right now. Let's go check, see what's on the other side of the chasm here. Maybe there's a different biome that we can go explore. Um, doesn't look like there's too much we can do in the desert. Our mining damage is too low to get anywhere. And those kamikaze enemies do not look like fun. Okay, and it looks like the wall on this side is gone as well. We don't have to just reach out and hit it. Let's build out and see what we can get. some more wood which is great here looks like maybe ocean over here oh no it's just a lake okay Azio's wilderness this is the complete opposite of a desert it is so lush and green here item stardew valley spring oh it's a music sheet that's cool i am a big fan of stardew looks like there's a lot of plants here to pop are these food yeah can be cooked all right well now that we are deep within the heart of azio's wilderness here someone just peek up from there? Oh my gosh. It sounded like he shot a gun at me. Okay. As I was saying, now that we are in the heart of Azio's wilderness, can we mine this? We can. Grass block. Alright. We are going to call it an episode here, guys. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz if you did. Helps me know you're enjoying the series and helps me know that you want me to continue. Got a little farmer down there. Otherwise, we will pick up right where we left off here in Azio's Wilderness next time I see you on um, Core Keeper. Thanks so much, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.